special moment in the pregame ceremonies. The playing of the national anthem as the teams gear up for the tip. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Along with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder facing Utah. And now we take a brief... Outside Durant. On the wing, Jones. He's guarded by Williams. Westbrook dishes to Jones. Five to shoot. Adams. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Steven Adams originally from New Zealand. He's of English and Tongan descent. You don't hear that often in the NBA. Just played one year of collegiate basketball at Pitt, but uh, kind of a raw prospect with a lot of ability. Very athletic, good size, and a, and a really high character person. And the Jazz making a change here. Jefferson's checked in. Here's Mr. Clutch. Good. A nice assist for Williams. That's where you like to get shots, inside and close to the hoop. The Thunder leading by four. Here's Westbrook, a 17-point game for him in the win against Boston. Yeah, no question, you look at his assist totals, I and mean, they tell you what a nice job he was doing, really spreading that ball around. And that one's good. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Stephen Adams a little bit of an unknown, uh, but certainly has upside. Well, here we go again, seven feet tall with a 7'5 wingspan and pretty good athleticism, qualities you like. Also impressed teams with his shooting at the combine. A big guy that has some length, mobility, and can shoot. That's somebody you got to take a look at. And Jefferson, here we go. And the basket good. Jefferson's got his first points of the game. That is a tough layup with a guy right on him. Good defense, but better offense. Adams with it. Favors picks him up. And Adams kicks to Jones. Can't get it to go. Good D by Williams. They've got a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. You wonder how much that'll play going forward. I like the way they've set the tone. You know, they're going to have to continue to work at it, but rebounds will be key in this game. No question about it. No good for Mr. Clutch. Westbrook with it. Right now averaging 27 points a game. Here's Durant. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. And the Thunder making a switch here. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. You know, in their last game, guys, he was dialed in at the line. Yeah, no question. I mean, it may have been the strongest part of his game that night. And, guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. I don't know how they're going to keep this pace up. Both teams on fire here early and playing the game on rollerblades, too. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And when you consider how the Thunder are doing, Steve Clark, what do you think? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together, really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Utah, Mr. Clutch, he's in a shooting guard. Thomas is out there with Ennis Cantor. Then there's Burke, and it's Hayward in at the small forward. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to Come see in on. a blowout, Kevin, or even an exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you know, frustrated Steve is over well, there. I just, uh, you know what, oh, Kevin? Disgusting. Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. Well, really a promising young roster for the U.S. One sixteen left in the first half of basketball. Here's Lamb. 
That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got his third assist on the night. And you got to give this Utah front office a lot of credit. You're right, Clark. They've only missed the playoffs five times in the last 30 seasons. Steve, that is a remarkable run. What I like about Utah, too, Kevin, is that they seem to stay ahead of the curve. They make moves uh, while they still have leverage. Dealing Carlos Boozer, Kirilenko, Darren Williams. Uh, so they've, they've done a good job of getting value, getting assets, and continuing to look ahead. Lucas, the pass to Mr. Clutch. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might well tell the story in this one. Now that should tilt things toward them. I mean, they've been winning that battle. Here's Westbrook, and he uses the glass on the layup. And it's a four-point Thunder lead. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. His first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's got it going now. Williams kicks to Lucas. Pass to Mr. Clutch. From past the arc, good. Mr. Clutch has got seven points. Eight seconds left in the first half of basketball. Westbrook drives in, dishes it to Collison, and stolen by Favors. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Thunder lead by one. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Scott, what exactly are they doing to take away your transition? Now, presented by Sprint. And welcome to the Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And look out over Salt Lake City. Here's Fisher. Cashes in for a double-digit lead. And the Thunder lead by 11. Boy, they've been so sound offensively in the second half. I love the way they're playing. Yeah, there's really no comparison in the shooting percentages between the teams since the break. Taking a look at the Thunder. On the wings, it's Zephalosia and KD, Kevin Durant. Perkins is out there with Karan Butler, and it's Fisher in a point guard. Now you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. One forty-six left in the third quarter. It's stolen by Jefferson. Right side, Jefferson passes it to Mr. Clutch. Shoots it. No luck. Some solid defense from Fisher. Another strong rebound, just like we've gotten used to seeing from them today. Yeah, one or two more of those, and this lead will be double digits. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist in this one. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut to just seven on the basket for Mr. Clutch. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc, Clark. It feels like they've, they're finding the holes in this defense. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. The past few weeks, you can see how Utah stacks up. First in opponent points per game. Second in field goal percentage. And they're ranked third in lowest amount of turnovers per game. That's the sign of a team that understands the importance of taking care of the ball. Now, those are impressive numbers, but the, the big one, Clark, to me, is opponents' points per game first, as you mentioned. And, and that's just a, a case of a team playing extremely hard on a night-to-night -night basis. And uh, it's also a, a well-coached, disciplined approach because you can't play good defense unless all five guys are on the same page at one time. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, with the recent success of Oklahoma City, you forget that in Kevin Durant's first season, they started out going 3-29. and 29, And I tell you what, you talk about their success, it's due to the resilience and perseverance and leadership of Kevin Durant and the rest of those guys. And now Utah, fast break. Oh, look out. Watch out for oh. Wow. Oh. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. 
That was a nice replay brought to you by Kia. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Favors passes to Mr. Clutch. The three. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his fourth rebound in this one. From half court, can't connect. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Oklahoma City out in front, leading by seven. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next. On, and as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the creativity? You guys, terrific vision to pick out that pass and set up the basket. Outside Westbrook. He dishes it to Perkins. Pass to Butler. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. They get Derek Favors. Ron Butler is one of those rock solid, steady vets. Just a pro's pro, we call it. Entering the final year of his contract. You know he's looking to be aggressive out there. And for Butler out of UConn, a good defender, Steve, a, a good jump shot. Yeah, played in one all-star game back with the Wizards. Now going into his 12th year in the league. He's had a great career. Burks the off guard with Hayward at the three. Babers plays the four with Canner at the five. And it's Mr. Clutch in at the point. That's the group right now for Utah. Here's Cephalosha. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. So for the Jazz, their last game a loss to the Lakers in Los Angeles. Burks dishes to Favors. And there's the pass to Mr. Clutch. Another miss by Utah. Oklahoma City has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Westbrook with it. Now guarded by Hayward. Westbrook, no good. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag it. Burks, the pass to Mr. Clutch. And Favors kicks to Cantor. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Cantor's got four points in the quarter. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Now here is Cephalosha. Burks covering. Cephalosha dishes to Durant. He kicks to Cephalosha. He feeds it to Westbrook. Six to shoot. That's good. Westbrook's got the lead up to one now for the Thunder. Unbelievable basket. What a huge height disadvantage. I thought for sure it would be blocked. Not this fella, Steve. Not at this stage of the game. He was going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way. Cantor, the pass to Hayward. Kicks it to Burks. Here's Mr. Clutch. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Some fantastic numbers for Mr. Clutch. 15 points, and he sprayed home three three-pointers as well. Yeah, productive day for him from long range. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. So for the Jazz, their last game a loss to Los Angeles. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Good aggressive finish on the break. That's as easy a two points as you could ask for. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. How about the three-point shooting we're seeing so far, guys? Amazing. Don't overlook the success they've had at the free-throw line tonight, either. Uh, he's definitely the guy they want at the line in this situation. He loves these kinds of moments. Great D that time from Westbrook. He has not shot the ball well here, and I think it's, it's time for him to start looking for his teammates a little bit. Jazz trail by four. Here's Mr. Clutch. No good. Nice D from Cephalosha. Uh, he's missing a lot of shots out here. Offensively, he just has not been able to produce in this quarter. Back to Butler. Cephalosha with it. He's against Cantor. Cephalosha's shot is good. Boy, what a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. Well, both defenses have been on their heels all day, and it's begun to take its toll. Favors passes to Mr. Clutch. The feed to Cantor. Knocked loose. Money! Drive 
something high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. The dish to Butler, tries from 16. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. He's locked in right now, guys, hitting some big shots here in the fourth quarter. Here's Mr. Clutch. No good with the triple. Boy, he has been struggling mightily in this quarter, guys. True. He really seems to have tightened up a bit for whatever reason. He, he looks tight. Here's Westbrook. Here's Perkins. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And the Thunder lead by eight. Well, that just adds to what's probably an already insurmountable lead. I think they'll be walking out of here with a pretty easy victory. Steve, I think that's a given. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And the Thunder going with a whole new group out there. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Russell, congratulations on this win.